I'm a single father who's been raising three kids. And for my daughter to do a great job at home, and her reward is to go to a football game, and she ended up losing her life. She didn't deserve it. A local father dealing with the grief of losing his eight-year-old daughter, Journey Thompson, was shot and killed last night while leaving a high school football game. Thank you for joining us. I'm Emily Pritchard. Tonight, another St. Louis family is dealing with the loss of a child. Eight-year-old Journey Thompson was fatally shot last night. She was a third grader at Herzog Elementary School in St. Louis. She is the latest young victim of gun violence in the city. News 4's Benton Blanton is live with the response from city leaders tonight. Right now, Emily, in the hospital, doctors are treating three others who were shot along with Journey Thompson. As for the eight-year-old, police are still looking for the person who killed her. But late this afternoon, city leaders announced some tipster could get $25,000 if their tip leads to the arrest of the person who killed that little girl. Homicide investigators are looking at several cases involving victims under the age of 17. But today, St. Louis's police chief mentioned four with victims 10 and under prompting Crime Stoppers to reward an additional $25,000 to a tipster who helps police catch the killers. The mayor told News 4 conventional police tactics are not enough and investigators need information from the public to bring shooters to justice. In addition to the $5,000 Crime Stoppers usually gives, the agency is giving another $25,000 as a reward if the arrest is made by September 1st. I did ask Mayor Lida Cruz why that amount is available only for about a week. This is urgent. Right now, we hope that we will be able to get information to the police today, tomorrow, Monday. We, it, it expresses the urgency of this situation. The city's public safety director told me all of that money was donated by someone, and uh, they are working on that until September 1st. But coming up on News 4 tonight at 10, you're going to hear what the city has to say to the people who know something or know anything about these shootings involving children and are holding back on giving that information. Reporting live outside St. Louis Police Headquarters, Vincent Blandon, News 4. Hopefully someone will call in with some kind of information that will help. Vinny, thank you.